Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it finally arrived. So many of you people asked if I got the Jouet and Jeffree Star collaboration, and I did. I did indeed. So it is the Jouet and Jeffree Star lip topper. And it is in shade Sweet Tooth. So this is a long wear lip topper with coconut oil. This weightless lip topper instantly refreshes and adds shimmer to your favorite lip color. Wear alone or pair with Jouer long wear lip cream. Mm. Directions for use. Apply a thin layer over long wear lip cream. Lip color should be allowed to set before applying lip topper. Then it's got warnings and stuff and it's not tested on animals. So that's really cool as well. And the packaging is so super cute, but I'll start with the product card first. Also, this is Jeffree Star's first collaboration. And as you guys know, I'm obsessed with Jeffree Star and I have all the Jeffree Star things. And yeah, this is his first collaboration with a brand that's not his own brand. So anyway, that's a backstory. Let's get to the pretty packaging and stuff. So this is the cute product card here with the, you know, with Jeffree, the logo, and then this cool card here which has the lip topper and then this is the packaging here so it's a nice purple kind of candy box with the writing is holographic which is amazing i was really sad because it arrived in just like a plain box and i was actually kind of expecting them to be in the pr boxes that um they were sending out but of course they weren't and i'm not on the pr but um yeah so it comes in this anyway but I've been seeing the big containers and I was like, oh my god, I really want that, but I mean, I'm not on PR, so. <laughs> but anyway, this is the box here with all of the details. It's got the Jeffree Star logo down the side and also on the top and all your details there. So this also has 0.2 fluid ounces as well. And then it's, of course, like that's Jeffree Star's signature. So let's open it up. It's so pretty. Where's the front of it? So this is it here. It is beautiful. It's got a line almost cut. It's got like a cut out here so you can slip all of the lip toppers in a row. Um, that's why it's got like a different side. But otherwise all the sides are the same. The product is inside. It says Jouer on the front and then it has the Jeffree Star logo there. If you can see. Alright so I'll open it up. And it smells like freaking candy. That is amazing. So that is the doe foot there. It's a normal kind of doe foot. And I'll just swatch it on my hand. It's a nice line down there. So I can definitely see how they can say it can be enjoyed on its own. Because it is so super ridiculously pigmented. And it doesn't dry down as I'm aware. It's just like a lip topper. So it will stay kind of wet. Alrighty. So now I have like my normal mouth with nothing on it and I'm going to get the product here I'm so excited all right so this is my bare lips and then I'll put it on oh so glittery now this kind of reminds me of beauty pageant real hard out which is his lipstick which is a glitter pink topper so it would be interesting to see them compared need another dip so it's not one of those like one dippers but in saying that no I did double dip um before when I, I dipped my hand and then I re-dipped it for my mouth so it wasn't a one dipper is it so that is it on there I'm not that mad at it like it is like a pretty color that you could definitely wear by itself it would go with pretty much like any kind of makeup look so I think it is quite a kind of nice and versatile, but to me, it's just, it's so similar to beauty pageant that I need to swatch them against each other right now because it, I'm just kind of like, is it exactly the same? Because it would be really disappointing, but of course it's Jeffree, so I'm going to get it. And it's my first UA product, but yeah, I'm just like, it looks too much like beauty pageant. So I've got to get that to try. Alrighty, so this is Jeffree Star's lipstick that he created, his lip ammo, in shade Beauty Pigeon. And I'm just going to swatch it down here like so. 
So that is it swatched there. So very, very similar. I'll come a bit closer for you guys to see. So that is them there. Um, they're not exactly the same, but they are extremely similar there. You know, I suppose they are different there, so that's exciting. But what I'll do now is I'm just going to... It's pretty easy to remove as well, which is really good. But again, it's like a gloss thing. And I think my mouth is going to stain with glitter. Yep, my mouth stained with glitter. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a liquid lipstick down. So, and um, we're just going to grab one of Jeffrey's shades because I don't have any Jouet. So, I've got a shade Hunty here and I'm just going to put that on my mouth to see. Like, I don't know if it would work with a brown, but I'm like, eh, that was the first one I grabbed. Because I suppose if you had a pink, it would work better. I'm going to try it with pink after, I think. But yeah, that's Hunty on. Let's let him dry. I do really like this colour. I think it's really pretty. Ooh. Alrighty, now that that's dry, let's put this on. Okay. So that's it over top of Hunty there, which is a kind of light kind of nude color. And it's made like a pretty kind of sparkly color. Almost just kind of made like a metallic -y, like a metallic -y, like nudie kind of pinky brown kind of color. I don't know. It's a really hard one to judge. I'm just going to try on a pink one and then I'll give my final thoughts. Alrighty, so now that that's dry, I'm going to get the lip topper. It's like so bright and pretty. But I just don't know how I feel yet. I hear you. Ugh. I'm just going to re dip. And read up again. And that is it on prom night. So I'm definitely loving the lip topper on prom night because I feel like it's more prominent and brighter um more so than the nude but I did kind of like the nude as well and I do like it by itself um but um would I buy it again I probably actually wouldn't um I never thought I'd really say that about a Jeffree Star product but I feel like you know the the lipstick is too similar um beauty pageant here and I feel like his shade dream house is actually really similar as well um, if I just do a little swatch here, let me know if you want me to go in depth with any of these different shades here. That's Dreamhouse there and it's a metallic pink and I feel like if you mix that and then put like this one on top, you're probably going to get this lip topper. Um, I do think it is a definitely a cool collector's item. I will definitely use it until it runs out. If it does become available again, I probably will buy it when it runs out just more for the collecting kind of value. But is it one that I'd use every day? No. Um, I could use it every day. It is very nice. I do like it. The formula is nice as well. And it smells good. Um, but I just think that there's other products in his line that are similar. And um, I don't feel like it's a must have. But I must have it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's weird. I'm conflicted. I think that it's a really great product. But I feel like he's got one similar to it and that it's not that much different than what he has done in the past. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. If you think that this is a product that you would buy again, if you would try, did anyone else get it? Um, and yeah, let me know what do you guys think of it on my face. But yeah, 
don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.